So you're curious when it is that you're ovulating. This is Mava Shorn, professor and certified nurse midwife from Vanderbilt University School of Nursing, here to try to help you figure that out. Well, if you have regular menstrual cycles, that really helps. Um, and every woman cycles a little differently. On average, most women have a menstrual period every 28 days. We ovulate between our menstrual cycles, usually on day 14. And what that means is if you're, the first day of your period is day one and you count forward day 14, then that's around the day of ovulation. But that's also assuming you have a 28-day cycle. Some other signs that you can look at is to find, figure out if, if this is the right time for you. Uh, you may notice that your cervical mucus changes. When you get towards time of ovulation or when you're actually producing an egg, it becomes clear and slimy-like. And if you were to even look under the microscope at that, it's got, it's got channels in there that and it actually helps sperm get up to your egg. So what you notice at that mid-cycle time is that it's like egg white, very thin and slimy. And then something else you can do that takes a little bit more time is you can check your temperature. You need to use a, what's called a basal body temperature thermometer. And you need to, it's different than the regular. There are digital ones and there are mercury ones, but it should say basal body temperature because the temperature change is very subtle. It's about a half a degree to a degree increase in the second half of the cycle if you've ovulated. So it's something that you do. You check your temperature first thing in the morning every day and you chart that. If you chart it, you'll see how your temperature rises if you ovulated the second half of the cycle. Now, some people ask about ovulation kits. I'll tell you I'm not a big proponent of those because they're very expensive and you have to use them over time and people typically don't get pregnant the first, time, first month they try. So then you're using a lot of kits over time and it costs a lot. So the advantage of using, your, looking at your cervical mucus, even your thermometer or checking the calendar is it's cheap, you get to know your own body and, um, and it works for, for most people. Now keep in mind if it's your first baby, it may take six to 12 months in order to get pregnant the first time. If you're over 35, you may want to talk to your uh, uh, midwife or physician and um, see how long that you want to wait before you look into any other assistance in getting pregnant.